I have bad news, Mongo. Mikey and JJ's village is being attacked by zombified mobs, and we need to build tank houses to get it back. Oh, yeah, Budo. That's a good idea, but I'm a better builder than you, so my tank is going to be better than yours. <laughs> I don't think so, Mongo. I'm going to make sure Mikey and JJ are well protected in my giant tank. And I'm going to help Udo because he's the coolest builder. We got this, Axie. We only have until sunset before all the other zombies spawn in. So good luck, guys. Okay, Axie. Now that Mongo's gone, I want to show you a special command. I just need to type it in like this and press enter. And now let's see my massive tank spawn in. And oh my gosh, Axie, do you see this thing? This is the giant tank that I'm gonna use to get back the village. Whoa! Now that we spawned in this tank, Axie, we need to completely customize it. Because even though it does look cool, there's actually nothing on the inside. So it's completely defenseless. But I think the first thing we need to do is give it a facelift. Because right now, this stone color is looking way too boring. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in this special command, just like this, to set all these stone blocks into lime green blocks. Come on, Let's paste that command in. <gasps> Whoa, check it out, Axie. Doesn't this look amazing? Everything is lime green now. Ludo, can we turn this guy into me? Wait, what? This is the guy that you want to turn into, Axie? But Axie, you don't look that scary. But you know what? I'm sure those zombie mobs will be totally scared of a giant Axie. Quick, let's do it. All I need to do is grab some pink wool and then get my trusty wand to change the entire head into your squishy pink head axie hey who are you calling squishy you look <gasps> at you you're all completely made out of axolotl but now that your head is all done i can build your eyes and luckily your eyes are easy to make because you have such big ones so let me just go over here and then put down this black wool and then what i can do is put the white outsides of your eyes just like this look axie i'm putting down your eyes i am so beautiful wow wait did you just say i am so beautiful get it because you have an eye <laughs> that's not funny Wudo. who taught you how to make jokes um mongo did okay i got my jokes from him so so that's why they're probably not funny. Oh, uh, that makes sense. But anyways, Axie, come on. I need to build your nose next. And I think for your nose, I'm going to use these pink shingles. Check it out. Now it looks exactly like you. My nose doesn't look like that, Udo. I don't even have a nose. Yes, you do. Look, it's yeah. right there. You clearly don't understand axolotl biology because that is not my nose, Woodle. Is it your mouth? In that case, I'm going to have to give you a smiley face. Yay! Axie looks so happy. Woodle, stop messing with my beautiful face. <laughs> Sorry, Axie. Now what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to have to make the rest of this body pink, too. So let me just grab this and make it all pink. Well, I am pretty pink, huh? Yeah, but look, Axie, I have to say that you are looking pretty, pretty cool defending this village with your giant brand new tank. But come on, this tank might look cool on the outside, but remember, the inside is still completely unprotected. So let's go down here and start building inside. Okay. What are we going to put first? Can it be a spa? A spa? Axie, we're in the business to help Mikey and JJ's family, so we can't build a spa. Aw, why not? 
Caboodle? Wouldn't helping them relax also be helping them? Well, kind of, but I think what we need to build first is a place where we can store weapons. Remember, we're dealing with some very, very dangerous mobs, and if we want to take them down, we need all the storage of weapons and armor that we can get. So, I'm going to set this entire area on the back over here to be exactly that. It's called an armory. Whoa, an armory? Don't worry, Voodle. I have the perfect things to add to your armory. Just let me get them right now. Uh-oh, that kind of makes me nervous. But you know what, Axie? I'll trust you for now. Let me just grab these blocks over here and then set these to iron and then set the rest of the walls to iron as well to give it that really, really strong look. Because after all, these are some really powerful weapons we'll be working with. Now, come on, Axie. What weapons should we put down first? Which ones do you think are going to help Mikey and JJ survive that zombie invasion? Well, I had the best idea ever, which is sticks. Look, I have a hawberry stick, a big tentacle on a stick, a normal tentacle on a stick, a barbecue stick, barbecue on a stick, and a sword on a stick. What in the world, Axie? This is your idea of protection? Well, I have to say, the protection is kind of tasty, but we're not trying to eat while we fight, silly. We need some actual protection with some really dangerous weapons. But you know what? I'll leave your section up here as a place where you can grab a snack. But the real dangerous weapons will be over here. The first thing I need to do is grab swords. And I've dedicated that entire section to adding the coolest looking ones. So let me just grab a handful that I think look the coolest and place them right over here. I think there's some other cool ones down here as well. Let me grab this one and this one and this one and this one and check this out Axie doesn't my sword collection look really cool not as cool as my swords on sticks oh my gosh Axie you look like a professional barbecuer yeah do you think I should make that my career I'm gonna go build a barbecue area hold on Axie I was thinking that you should build the barbecue area over here Look, I'll show you right now. All I need to do is grab the grill, and then I can put it right here so you can barbecue. Oh, yay. What should I barbecue first? Well, maybe you should make some more of these swords on a stick if you want a chance to survive. And while you do that, I'm going to grab some more item frames because this next section is going to be dedicated entirely to explosives. Explosives? Whoa. So I'm going to need a couple of them if we want to survive. For example, the bazooka and the grenade launcher, some grenades and some stun grenades. And I'm also going to need, most importantly, some dynamite that we can actually throw at the mobs too. I don't think they're going to like that very much, Woodle. Oh, I'm sure they will love it, Axie. Let me just put them all here just like this. Put the bazooka and the grenade launcher. And let's see. What is the last explosive thing I can get, Axie? <gasps> Wait, I know. Classic good old TNT. And as a matter of fact, I think there's a lot of different TNTs I can use. For example, we can get some drilling TNT to put a giant hole underneath all the mobs, eating TNT, and we can even get some really OP ones, like something like TNT 10,000 Axie and Ghost TNT, and also the most dangerous of them all, Nuclear TNT. Nuclear TNT? That sounds like it would destroy all of Minecraft. Exactly. And if it gets to that Axie, we're going to have no choice. So I'm going to set this entire wall to be our huge TNT collection. Look at how amazing they look, Axie. Don't they look scary? That one looks super silly. Why does it have a mouth? What do you mean it's a big mouth? Because it means it's going to eat everything. 
but come on we don't have time for silly stuff now that we have all of our weapons done we need to work on the armor and in order to do that i need to grab an armor stand and then place the armor stands right over here and now we have four different armors that we could choose from so let me just search armor and check this out axie there is a ton of armor we can use i think what we need is something very noble like this guard armor which will certainly protect us if we need to go outside okay while you do that i'm gonna get ready to have my barbecue armor on what in the world axie you look like a tiny cute little chef Aww. i'm not cute little stick should fear me um axie i think the mobs are gonna think you're gonna look really cute on their barbecue grill come on you can't wear chef's armor in a battle we need true battle armor for example i'm gonna go ahead and grab this battle mage armor which should look really really sick when i put it down check that out whoa it's like a purple box exactly but there's even cooler ones axie let me just go over here and keep looking look there's this purple one which looks super duper cool so cool in fact that i'm gonna get rid of this one and put this one here you do that Udo. i'm gonna look for more barbecue armor oh my gosh axie in that case i better get the best armor there is because axie is like negative help so let me just put down this other really really cool ignitium armor and let's see i think this samurai armor also looks really really cool check out how amazing it looks it literally looks like an actual ninja which is perfect now look at this axie we have all of our different offensive tools ready for us to use when our battle against those zombified mobs happens but now we need some other things inside of our tank to also make this all work so i'm gonna build a little pathway and we're gonna have to go into this next room to actually test all of our tools and weapons we are what are we gonna test them against well we're not gonna test them against anything silly what i'm going to do is i'm gonna grab some bedrock because this is going to be our training area axi if you want to get good at defending Mikey and JJ from the scary mobs that are going to be attacking us, then we need to do a little bit of target practice with you. We do? Am I going to be the target or the one practicing? No, Axie. You're going to be the one practicing, silly. Unless you make me annoyed. No, I won't make you annoyed. I promise. When have I ever been annoying? Okay, Axie. I guess so. Look, all I need to do is grab these targets and then place the targets along the wall, just like this. Then what your objective is going to be is to aim at the targets and actually make your weapon hit them. And if it doesn't hit them, then that means you're really bad. Hi why can't i hit them with my sword on a stick because these are aims targets do you want test dummies to see how much damage your sword will do yeah then come over here axie look there's a bunch of target dummies that you can attack yeah i'm gonna destroy this target dummy oh my gosh axie you're doing a ton of damage i better put some more bedrock over here just in case you try to destroy everything everything now that that's all done i can go ahead and put that here and then i can get some extra reinforced glass just to make sure that nothing explosive accidentally gets blown up in here so let me just search for glass and then i think the reinforced glass should be right over here got it let me just grab that and then set this entire wall to glass so that we can see how Axie's holding up against that dummy. Ha, ha, take this, take this. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> Axie. 
see did the test dummy just defeat you oh no this is bad news if the test dummy could defeat axie who knows what the real mobs could do to her i am so tired i need water don't worry axie let me help you i'm gonna grab some water bottles go drink drink water nom, 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 nom. Yay, Poodle, I feel perfectly fine now and ready to go again. No, 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 Axie, don't go again, okay? I think you've done enough target practicing for today, and I think we should work on something a little bit more fun for you. So I'm going to extend this path out going all the way over here, because in this last little section over here, I want to build something where we can run X experiments to somehow find a cure against those zombies because if we do then we can make sure no mob turns into a zombified mob again oh so we're gonna be doing science exactly and anything related to science has to be very very clean to make sure there's no contamination so as i'm going to use these very fancy quartz blocks to outline the entire area just like this cool i'm gonna put a bunch of bookshelves because science people are nerds oh my gosh axie don't say that science is really important to understanding how we work you can't just call them all nerds i didn't say that was a bad thing but they are nerds oh gosh axie well anyways now that the inside's all done let me just go get a fancy quartz block to make the floor just like this and now i can grab some quartz shelves and we can start working on the science experiments i better get some warning signs to put up here because i know for a fact that axe is gonna do something dangerous what kind of experiments are we gonna do first, Hoodle? Well, we probably need some test tubes. And because zombies are green and red, I better get some of these green and red test tubes for not only the zombifying stuff, but also the cure. We need to come up with an antidote axie, which means we need as much sciencey stuff as we can get. Oh, yeah, I forgot we were trying to do that. But if we have extra time, could we also science out how to make the perfect sandwich? Sure, Axie, but we're not worrying about sandwiches. Mikey and JJ will have no place to even make a sandwich. Don't worry, Woodle. You can work on the official experiments and I'll work on the sandwich experiment. Okay, Axie. Your sandwich experiment can be done only over here, okay? Okay, fine, Woodle. Anyways, now that Axie's working on all that stuff, I can start getting a bunch of all the experimental stuff that I need. Check out how cool this mod is with all this sciencey stuff. I can literally try out anything I want. So let me just grab all these things just like this and let's start putting them down. I'm going to put down some of these barrels with our serum and stuff. I'm going to put down some of the antidotes, some books that we'll be reading. And of course, we need a couple of microscopes to be able to analyze exactly what is going on that turns everyone into a zombie. Whoa, that looks awesome. But Axie, we still need to be very, very careful with our calculations. So let me just put a couple of whiteboards right over here where I can look at everything that I need to know about the formula. Now that that's all done, I can go ahead and put down my calculator and then I need to build my testing area because we're going to be running a couple of tests, Axie. We are on the sandwiches? No, silly. We're going to run them on you. When can we start? Wait, what? You want to do it right now? Um, okay, Axie. Let me just try to give you one of these serums and see what it does. And oh, wow, your sandwiches actually look good. Can you make me taller if you experiment on me? Um, sure, Axie. Just stand over here. I'm going to hide behind this curtain and I want you to drink this lime serum. Okay? Okay. All right. Let's see what's going to happen to Axie. Please, nothing go wrong. Oh. 
wrong. And I think something weird happened, Woodle. All right, let's take a look in. Um, Axie, what just happened to you? What did you do to me? Axie, you just turned into a walking pancake. Why do you look like that? At least I am taller than you. Wait, I'm not than you. Oh no, Axie, this is really bad. You know what? I think I know what the solution could be. Let me just grab one of your sandwiches. Come on, Axie, sit down. I'm sure this vegetable sandwich will cure you. Okay, Woodle, it better cure me because I feel so weird right now. All right, here you go. There's a bunch of sandwiches. Now let me just go here and see if it saves you. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, 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 nom. Ah, I think I went back to normal. Yay! Are you all okay, Axie, now? Are you seeing things? Am I real? Uh, my stomach still feels like it's paper thin, but that's okay. I just have to eat more. All right, there you go, Axie. You can have all those sandwiches. But I think it's safe to say that our lab area is all complete. And now that we have all of our tank stuff ready to go for battle, there's still a really important part we're missing axie we need the tank defenses and the defenses have to be outside so let's go outside and start building our defenses right over here on the very tip of where this tank shoots out towards its enemies Okay, Woodle, what kind of defenses are we going to build? Well, I want to build a TNT cannon. And luckily, building a TNT cannon is pretty easy. All I need to do is place these blocks going out just like this. And then I need to grab a stone slab, grab some water. And then I need to put one block up here, grab some redstone to make it go all all the way to the end and then i need a lever to make all that tnt activate so let's just do this and then i do this and now axie all i need to do is grab some tnt and let's check it out are you ready yeah but are we destroying mikey and jj's village no we aren't silly the zombie moms are still there so let me just activate this tnt and let's hope will the cannon work in oh yes it does that is so awesome axie cool let's blow up everything all right what i'm going to do is i'm gonna activate this tnt at the very last second so that it can go down and yes it's working that's what we need to do. We need to wait until the very last second to activate this one so it has enough space to move down and then go attack everything down there. Cool! Is that the only defense we're gonna have, though? No, silly. We need way more defenses. So let me just grab some dispensers and some redstone, as well as some redstone repeaters and some fire charges. Because a zombie's worst enemy, of course, is fire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the middle of the tank right over here and axie we are going to build a giant array of dispensers that will shoot out fire towards those zombies that sounds good woodle i'm gonna put some toilets up here so that if you're working on the dispensers and you have to poop you can use one of these wait what are you putting down tactical toilets axie that's such a genius idea i know and i'm gonna put them everywhere Oh, gosh, I don't know about everywhere, Axie, but that position should be pretty good. Now what I can do is I can go down here and put down all the redstone repeaters so that we can hook them all up to this redstone signal. All I need to do is place these wool blocks over here just like this, and now they're all connected, and I can make a little 
little tiny staircase that goes down and then connects to the rest of the repeaters that'll be down here. A pretty genius idea. Don't you say, Axie? Yeah, I am pretty genius. Um, I wasn't talking about you, but sure, that works too, Axie. Anyways, now let me just put these redstone repeaters, click the lever, and... <gasps> Yes, everything works. That is so, so awesome. Axie, quick. Let's start putting down these fire charges inside of each of these dispensers. Fire charges? I was thinking we could use something more interesting, like raw chicken. Raw chicken? Axie, that's like food for these zombies. Why would you ever want to put raw chicken inside them? I don't know. I mean, I don't like raw chicken, so I thought maybe the zombies wouldn't like it either. Well, are you a zombie, Axie? I could be. Oh, gosh. Well, in that case, maybe we should kill you, too. No, you don't have to do that. I'm not a zombie yet. All right, Axie, if you say so. Anyways, what I got to do now is I'm going to replace all this lime wool over here to glass so that we have a nice view of all the destruction that's going to happen when we activate this lever. All I need to do is bring it up here so that I have a nice nice view of the area and then i can put down a little itty bitty chair for myself because i'm the controller of this tank here we go just like that and now i can go bombs away and i can fire all that fire whoa axie look at that this is going to be so perfect against the zombies you're stabbing me. Oh, sorry, Axie. I didn't mean that. Do you want to try controlling it, too? Okay, can you stand right in front of them? Wait, what? No, I don't want to stand in front of them. And whoa, that's a lot of fire. I think our taste defenses are pretty much set, Axie. There's only one last thing we need to do. There is? <gasps> we need another bathroom no silly we already put a bathroom there what we need to do is build a living area for mikey and jj's family to enjoy while we fight to get their village back oh yeah that makes sense so why don't we go over here and let's quickly build one because time is really running out and that sun is going to set really soon. So Axie, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a little TV area as well as the kitchen. And can you build a little play area for baby Mikey and JJ right over here? Over here? Okay, I'm really good at knowing what to play with. All right, perfect. Now I'm just going to put down the speakers on the TV just like this. And now that the TV is done, I can go ahead and grab some sofas, especially some red and green ones because those are Mikey and JJ's colors and put them over here just like that. Do you know what everyone should do if they're on a TV axie? Oh, they should probably poop in front of the camera because then they're going to be famous. No, silly. What they need to do is watch the Wudo and Mongo videos all day and subscribe. So if you haven't already, subscribe in three, two, one. Thank you. And if you didn't subscribe, then we're going to use our tank and sandwich experiment to turn you into a zombie yeah no i was just kidding axie we're not actually going to do that wait why because it's too dangerous silly anyways let me just grab a stove real quick and let me grab some food it's really important that we give their family plenty to eat and luckily i have just the thing we can feed them cake cake is the greatest food you could ever feed anyone especially turtles and axolotls so let me grab all of these delicious cakes that we can enjoy cake 
Yeah. I just need to grab a table real quick, just like this. And now I can put this big table right over here where everyone can come and eat just like that. And now I'll start with the big cakes and put all the itty bitty cakes surrounding the big cakes. So it's like a big surprise at the end. Isn't that a great idea, Axie? Yeah, that's a super cool idea. Anyway, I'm almost finished with the play area. Me too. Hold on, Axie. I just got to put down these chairs and then I can put down a bunch of stoves over here so that in Mikey and JJ's free time, they can spend all of it making us food. You're going to make Mikey and JJ cook us food? That's brilliant. I know. Isn't it such a genius idea? I mean, come on. We did build this entire tank for them, so it would be nice of them, don't you say? Yeah. Pluto, how am I doing? Let me go ahead and take a look at... Axie! This is not a play area. This is a fire hazard. Remove the fire. Why? The fire adds character. Okay, you know what? Fine, what I'm going to do is keep this, but there's going to be a big fence around it. We'll just tell Mikey and JJ that we were experimenting with turning the zombies back to normal, right? <laughs> no, silly. This isn't an experiment. It's a play area for baby Mikey and JJ. Let me show you what a real play area looks like, Axie. First, I need to grab a bunch of red and green plushies because those are baby Mikey and JJ's favorites. And now that I have all these plushies, I can go right over here and place them all over. The right side will be for baby JJ and then the left side will be for baby Mikey where he likes all the green ones. And of course, Turtles! Pluto, this is a creeper. That's too scary for a baby. Oh, so you think that's scary for a baby, but not the fire you placed down? Axie, come on. Fire is a natural part of nature. Plus, I also have mud, which is the best thing for babies. Okay, Axie. Well, I guess you do have a point, but it's just too dangerous for them. I think what they should have instead are some cute little toys and then a little nappy area where they can take a nap. See? Oh, okay, but that's kind of boring. No, it's not, silly. It's just exactly what they need. So let me just grab this and this real quick and then I can play some more of these cute little toys and look I'll even give him a drum set to play with. Isn't that so sick? I guess so. Here we go, Axie. Now he's going to have plenty of fun playing instruments for all of the family. But oh no, I think we're running out of time. Do you hear that? Yeah, it sounds like zombie animals. Oh gosh, Axie, come on. Let's go outside and take a look and... <gasps> oh no, the sun has set. Quick, we need to go see if Mongo's tank is ready too. Oh, Mongo. Where is this tank? And what is that weird block down there? Guys, I'm down here. This is my tank. What in the world, Mongo? This is what you call a tank? This looks like a giant poo-poo. What do you mean, Wudo? Look, inside, we have a seating area that you can take a seat and control the tank with. Then, down here, we have a little area where you can jump down inside of the ground for your beds. And then, if you follow me, you can go to the second floor where there is a couch watching a TV so you can enjoy your tank experience. Wow, Mongo, that's kind of cool, I guess. But why would you watch this TV when you could instead just put down some more glass like this and watch the amazing tank that we built over there? You want to check it out? Whoa, that tank does look really cool, but Wudo, I still have one more feature of my tank. 
Oh gosh, what is it? It's my TNT launcher. Boom. Wait, that's not launching. And oh, um, Mongo, I think you just destroyed your own tank, bro. Oh gosh, my tank. I'm sorry, but don't worry. We have a gigantic tank that you can live in instead. Come on, look at how amazing my TNT launcher is. All I need to do is grab some TNT, place it down like this, and then I can activate it, Mongo. And boom whoa why is there a toilet here oh just in case the person controlling the tnt launcher needs to poop oh gosh that's genius Budo. that's what i said i didn't know you guys were so smart i know look i'm even launching the tnt right now and uh oh wait that tnt isn't blowing up and Oh. Oopsie. Well, that doesn't matter, Budo. Come on. Show me your tank over here. And whoa, this thing is gigantic. I know, right? Look, Axe is the one controlling the tank, even though she looks a little silly. Lal. Hey, I look normal. I'm going to make myself angry now. When did Axie get a face? I've always had a face. Uh-oh, look, now she looks angry, Mongo, but now it looks like a big eyebrow. <laughs> it is a big eyebrow, Wudo. Well, Wudo, is that all you have? Do you not have an inside for the tank? And of course I have an inside, silly. Come on down here. You need to put on your tank armor, Mongo. Whoa, tank armor sounds awesome. I know, look. I'm gonna wear the samurai armor for the invasion. Axie, what if you take this purple armor over here? I already have armor, Wudo. Don't you remember? Oh, yeah. Axie kind of turned into a barbecue master. Look, she has all these different sticks for barbecue no for fighting wait what it's a weapon and it's food so if you get hungry on the battlefield you can eat it i guess it kind of is a good idea they do look pretty tasty but they're useless why would you use those when you have these super cool weapons like bazookas grenades and nuclear tnt whoa these weapons are amazing but the weapons are useless if you can't try them out so come on mongo i'm gonna try my grenade in three two one boom whoa the grenade just attacked those dummies isn't that so cool i can even test my bazooka and oops i broke the wall a bit oh gosh wudo that bazooka is way too strong but isn't that sick though mongo i even have grenades that i can throw at these targets over here let's see if i can make them activate Whee! Oh, yeah, Wudo. You're awesome. But wait a second. What's this area over here? Well, Mongo, if we're going to protect Mikey and JJ's family from future zombie attacks, I need to build a testing area for science. Interesting. Well, luckily, you're not a zombie yet. So you can actually come here and enjoy the living area. This is where Mikey and JJ's family will spend most of their time. Ignore this part that Axie built, but the rest of it looks really cool. This is the playground. It's built for children. And look, you can even take a nappy here, Mongo. Oh, yeah, Wudo. I'm getting exhausted. It's almost nighttime. Speaking of nighttime, look, Mikey and JJ's families are here now. Oh, they are? Yes, this is perfect. Welcome to my tank, you guys. Now, Mongo, Axie, and I are going to go destroy those zombies to get your village back. Are you? You guys ready? Yes, Wudo. It's already nighttime. That means they're outside. Come on. Let me just get in my brand new toilet chair and start attacking. Rah! Whoa, those fireballs are so awesome. Attack! Go get them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, then watch another video on screen. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Bye.